All right, we got to find the slope of the line that goes through these two points. We love slope so much. So, um, you guys, uh, I think you learned two ways to do it in your 980 class. I do it completely different. So, I'm going to show it to you so that you can be more confused. So, but I, I really don't care which method you use, all right? So, I know that my slope will be a fraction. So, I put my fraction line. I may be able to simplify it, and that's okay. But I'm gonna I'm gonna connect my y values above because the change in y goes in the numerator. And to get from five to seven, I would have to add two to five to get to seven. So that's my numerator. I can put positive if I want. And then I connect my x's beneath because the change in x goes in the denominator. So what would I have to do to two to get to negative eight? Well, I'd have to subtract 10. That gives me the fraction, which I can then simplify. And I would just divide both those by 2 and get 1 over negative 5 or negative 1 fifth, whatever. All right, you guys give me a point then. All right, so let's find the slope between these two points. We've got uh, the equation, which is we're going to subtract these. So I got uh, my y. I think they usually do y2 minus y1, not that it matters, and my x2 minus x1. And we've got to identify which point is the two values and which one is the one values. So which one do you want to be x1 and y1? The choice is yours. Right. I heard 3, 5, even if I may not have. So I'm going to say that this is x1. And this is y1, all right? And so I'm going to replace my y1 with that 5. And my x1 with that 3. Well, now I'm just going to replace those other ones with the x. I guess that would be our x2 and y2 on those. So y2... And x2, I'm just replacing those values in this formula. So 4 and 8. And this gives me 8 minus 5 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. I'm okay with you writing it like this on a, on a test. But I think on the homework, they demand that you have it like this. Okay.